In this tutorial, we're going to take a look at uh, using alt text. And there's, uh, well, and this is sort of a lot more, more for a PC user than a Mac. I, I know you can do this all with a Mac, uh, an Apple product, but uh, I'm not, I don't have a Mac to demonstrate this on. So, uh, but I'm sure if, uh, if you're a Mac user, you could uh, do this. Uh, there's actually a lot of alt text, this, what this video is about. Uh, I'm going to focus on the ones that a math teacher or tutor would use. Um, so let me, I'm going to open up, uh, this is my alt text whiteboard here. So um, uh, on my second whiteboard, I have a bunch of the ones that I f fairly frequently use. Um, so you need a, an alphanumeric keyboard, uh, sorry, I a numeric keyboard, the one with the, the, the keyboard, uh, the uh, numbers on the right side. And um, so if you hold the the left alt key down and type 253 at the same time holding it down, then you get a, a square. Uh, alt 0179 is the cube. Uh, alt 0176 is the degree symbol. Um, alt 0150, that's the true subtraction symbol. Uh, notice that's longer than if you type this, something similar on the keyboard, that's actually, actually the negative symbol. So you notice this is a little bit longer than that. Um, uh, here's the uh, less than or equal to, greater than or equal to signs, plus or minus pi. We use pi a lot in geometry formulas, so alt-227 is pi, etc. So there's a whole bunch of them. Uh, there's a bunch of fraction ones, too. I don't use those a lot, but there are times when you'd like to be able to use those. So let's go over here. So something that um, uh, I'm going to make a text box here. And actually, let me pull up a grid. Uh, when you make a text box, it doesn't matter how far down you go. The size is determined by how far you go across. So there's some text. Now, if I make another text box, and I'm going to make it really narrow height-wise, but still two blocks wide, then notice it's the same size. And if we get rid of the grid, so once you get used to that kind of thing, um, if I make it, you know, approximately the same length horizontally, the text ends up being about the same size. So let's get rid of two of those. And go back in here. Actually, uh, I'm going to show you the student. Uh, I'm connected to a student now. So notice that, okay, the student sees my text boxes. I've clicked outside of it. So I'm going to edit this. And so for the uh, the subtraction symbol, I'm holding the Alt key down, typing 0, 1, 5, 0. And I get that. So let's say, and I'm going to do square. So Alt 2, 5, 3 for the square. Now, uh, I'm going to bring the student one back here. Uh, here we go. So notice that the student doesn't see my edit yet because of the fact that I haven't clicked outside of the text box. So remember, that's the case. So when I click here, and of course the student one disappears, I'll just bring it back. The student can now see uh, the same thing I have in there. Now, one of the things that the uh, uh, using alt text is good for is, and I use uh, control C, control V, control C is copy, control V is paste. So I did control C. So let's say I wanted to go to uh, another line here and maybe I'm demonstrating this for a student and equals. So the square, of course, means there's two of these. So I can just backspace, get rid of my square and control V again and there's the next line. So a lot quicker than writing out equals bracket 2x, track 3, etc. Okay, so uh, um, the nice thing about text box is you can do stuff fairly quickly. Um, it's great for if you wanted to, uh, let's say a student was doing some work and uh, they were writing out, you know, let's say they were writing out, um, you know, some quadratic equation, maybe the vertex form at the bottom of a page, and you're going to go to another page. Now, the... Um, uh, let's say the student's writing this out, and of course, you're anticipating ahead of time that maybe they're going to write this. Uh, let's say uh, subtract, let's say 7. So um, uh, I can use the uh, text chat um, as sort of a place to copy and paste stuff. So, you know, I could uh, control C that. 
and delete it if I want to, and go to another whiteboard. And then let's say, let's say this is my next whiteboard. And then, you know, I could paste this. And so, you know, we can continue on on the next page. So uh, now uh, something about the, uh, actually, I'm going to pause for a second. Okay, so what I've done is I've uh, I've changed these two whiteboards, the uh, tutor ones on the left, the student one on the right, and I want to show you when you're when you're typing in here. So if you, if you see from the student, you see the dot dot dots. As soon as you stop typing, for even if your cursor is still in the text chat, uh, the student stops seeing those dot dot dots. You only have to be stopped for a few seconds, or you know have your cursor outside, and the student doesn't see that anymore. So um, uh, you know, keep that in mind because uh, you might see a student with the dot, dot, dots and you know that they're typing, but if the dots disappear, then you know they stop typing. So that's something interesting to know about the, uh, the text chat. So let's take a look at another example. On my third wiper, I have a, uh, a cylinder here. So let's say we're doing some geometry and, and we're going to type out the uh, surface area formula. So it's 2 pi, so alt 227 r h plus 2, alt 227 for pi again, r, and then square is uh, 253. So now again, the nice thing about uh, uh, using the text box in my next line, let's say I wanted to uh, start substituting in the values. So I, I, call, I paste and, oh, look, at there's my radius. It's uh, 3.4. The height's 10, and of course I can go on here, and it's 3.4 for the radius. So it's you know it's it's a lot quicker than than type than writing out the whole thing. Um, actually, that brings up something I want to show you: the formulas. If you go, um, there we go. If you go into, um, and actually maybe I'll open this up from my uh, image bank just a second here. So this is my uh, image bank here. And if you go into the miscellaneous category, there's this uh, notepad file called common text. Of course, um, you know, you could, you know, save this in Word too. So now I'm not opening up as an image, of course, but uh, so this is a, a text file that I created uh, in a notepad file. So it's got all these formulas. So with a lot of the alt text used, like there's squares, pi, um, the, the cube here, of course, uh, volume of sphere formula. So there's a lot of these um, uh, things typed already. If you teach the grade 10 or 11 courses, you know, there's vertex form, equation of a circle, that kind of thing. So a lot of these you could just copy and paste into a text box without having to type them. So if you get used to where they are. And actually, another uh, another thing that I do a lot, this is my uh, frequent chat messages. Uh, I have, and actually there's a bunch of, uh, I don't know the alt text for these, but exponents of four, five, six, seven, if I wanted one of them, uh, I used to use theta a lot in trigonometry. Uh, there's the not equal symbol. Uh, so I could copy those into a text box fairly easily. I use this for, um, I'm not that fast at typing for, uh, um, you know, just copying and pasting uh, like the, you know, we don't want to write on images. So here's my one writing on images, sometimes writing it behind the image. So I can paste that into a text box or the chat uh, instead of having to take the time to uh, explain those. Uh, something that uh, I use quite a bit um, are these two messages at the end. Where, do you have any questions about anything on the whiteboard or in the chat before you go? And if not, uh, thanks for using Mathify. Have a good day. We need more help. Come back again. That kind of thing. So I use those quite a bit. Um, now, oh yes. Okay, let's go. Uh, now, if you um, if you have a a PC laptop that doesn't have the uh, numeric keypad. Uh, you might have this option to create one. So if you have a laptop uh, that has this uh, uh, a keyboard on it, if you type function, whole function and hit the, the control num lock down, there, there's your numeric keypad. Okay, so you, and then of course turn off, you hit function that again. Okay, so uh, that's something you can do in order to access the same alt codes. So there are, uh, uh, there's a lot of use to remember. I actually just keep a little sticky note with uh, a lot of those, uh, these alt codes on them. And there's a lot more than this. Um, for example, um, if you go uh, 
Alt 3, that's a heart. Alt 4 is a diamond. You know, if you're talking about cards with, with a student, uh, that's, uh, you know, uh, three, four, five, six. Um, you know, so there's lots of different alt codes you can use. And there may be, you know, ones you'll find that, that I don't use, but, uh, you know, uh, customize it to, you know, what makes sense for you. So that's a little bit about using alt codes uh, as a Mathify tutor. And I hope you found that useful. And that's the end of the video.